Hey everyone, it's great to see you here and thank you very much for choosing our products. This video will introduce the products and accessories included in the Air Seekers package and demonstrate the installation of various functional accessories. First, we open the box. The main components in the box include a quick start guide and quick installation guide, a user manual, the RTK base station kit, the charging tower, the Robotron body, the RTK upright support tube kits, and the charging station base plate. Next, we will show you how to install the charging station. Installing the charging station will require the following parts in the package. The charging tower and base plate, base plate screws kit, AC adapter, ground stakes, and the installation tools kits inside the box. First, align the bottom of the charging tower vertically with the mounting holes on the base plate. Then, secure the charging tower to the base plate using floor charging base plate screws, ensuring stability. And finally, ensure all screws are fully tightened and the charging station is stable without any wobbling. The charging station should be installed on a flat and level surface. The charging area should be free of obstacles or other objects. Do not install charging station on the slope or uneven terrain. Do not install the charging station on thick grass or in areas prone to water accumulation. Do not place the charging station near areas with frequent foot traffic to avoid tripping hazards. Please try to place the charging station in an area that does not require mowing. If the charging station must be placed within the mowing area, please set it as a no-go zone. Once the mapping is complete, the charging station must not be moved. If the charging station is relocated after mapping, you will need to remap the entire area. After selecting an open area to install the charging station, use six ground stakes to firmly fix the station in the designated location. Connect the power adapter wires to the station at the back and plug the power adapter into the wall socket. Next, we will show you how to install the RTK signal base station. Installing RTK will require the following parts in the package. The RTK upright support tube kits, a RTK adapter, a RTK antenna ground stake, a RTK base station antenna ROM, the RTK adapter standard cable kits, and the installation tools included in the package. First, we install the antenna on the RTK transmitter box. and use the standard cable to connect the RTK base station antenna through the center of the three vertical support pipes. Connect the RTK upright support tubes together. Next, connect the RTK upright support tube set to the RTK antenna. Attach the connected RTK upright support tube set to the ground stake and insert it into the ground. Finally, connect the RTK standard cable to the charging station. Alternatively, you can also connect the cable to the RTK AC adapter to power it. To optimize RTK performance, install the RTK module in an open area as close as possible to the mowing zone to maximize signal strength. Recommended RTK base station installation locations. Rooftops or balcony tops. Open and unobstructed, offering the strongest signal. Highly recommended as the first choice location. Top of a metal pole or fence to 1.5 meters high. Elevated to avoid ground level obstructions, improving signal stability. Ideal for fixed installation within the yard. Outer wall or pillar. Firmly mounted. Make sure it is not placed near metal objects 
or directly under eaves. Avoid installing the RTK near iron, aluminum cover paths, metal railings, wire fences, or wooden walls. In particular, iron and aluminum surfaces can cause severe RTK signal loss or failure. Once mapping is complete, do not move the RTK. Relocating it will require remapping. Do not place the RTK base station within 2 meters of a house or wall. Please avoid installing the RTK in narrow passages, under eaves or trees, as this will block the signal. When changing the mug guards, don't flip the robot upside down, like this, because it might damage the casing or scratch it. Instead, flip the robot like this. Place the Tron upright as shown and tighten the screws to secure the mudguard. Insert the battery into the machine, but do not start the machine yet. When installing the battery, make sure to push it all the way to the bottom of the compartment until it can no longer be moved forward. Next, we will show you how to charge. When Tron docks with the charging station, charging begins. The indicator light on the charging station will turn from white to green, indicating that Tron is properly aligned. A flashing green light means Tron is charging. Once fully charged, the light will stay solid green. 